All right, TK1636, I have another Nobles belt. I'm going to show you guys how I take off the rivets. This is an older kit that's been in the storage for a while. So most of the new ones don't have this canvas belt attached to the, the plastic yeah. belt. So this one, if you guys still have it, I'm going to show you how. So first things first, we're going to take everything off that we're not going to use. So we'll take these off real quick. I've already loosened it here. So I'll just go ahead and take the holster off real quick. And what I, I don't, I normally don't use these aluminum ones because they, uh, when you tighten them down, they strip very easy. So I would just go to Home Depot if you don't already have one and get the, the steel ones, the Chicago screws. Definitely a lot better. And with this one, uh, most of the ones I do, you can still use this holster it's very thick I, I don't really like it because it's not as flexible especially when you're packing it away but uh if you do a lot of times i just barely cut a little bit off the top because it is just a tiny bit long so if you wanted to to make it just a slight bit easier you can uh cut all these off and just mess with that but i'm just going to show you real quick just drilling it out and actually taking one rivet out at a time. So I'm gonna put this underneath just to keep it so it doesn't bend down. So that's it, just real quick motion. So now I'll go to the end one because this this center one's a little bit harder to get to. This one, the rivet's kind of messed up, so, so got to be careful. Kind of went off centered a little bit, so I'll try to bring it back. I'll try it from the other end now. I might have to go with a bigger drill bit. I don't want to heat it up too much just yet. to come back to this one. I don't want it to get too terribly hot. So let's see if I can put this in somehow. There we go. So I'm basically just using this hammer. When I'm uh, I'm actually at my house I have a piece of metal that's pretty much rectangular shape and it fits in there and I can drill on it. This one so it's kind of up a little bit. As long as there's something under here to keep this from bending too much, terribly much. And if it was actually a normal hole, it would come out like that instead of the other one. So, this comes out really easy. So all you have left is just a little rivet. I'm going to heat this up. I'm going to stick a screwdriver on the other side. This will heat up the glue on the other side and you can pop out the rivet, or I should say not the rivet, but the, the little center cap here. And then from there you can grind it away 
and you can uh, take out the, the rivet and then that glue so that it's flat enough that you can glue it back down. So let me try this one again. So close. There it goes. Okay, so just go slow, nice and slow. So there's that one. You have something we can clean this up real quick so I don't mar this real. You want to pause? Yeah. Where's the three? Go. Okay, so now now that the rivets are out or I should say half the rivets are out. The other side is glued in. So what's holding it is not the rivet, but the glue on the other side of this cap on all three of them. So I could easily stick this in here and try to pry. It's not gonna come off. No matter how much I try, it's not gonna come off. But I can sit here and make it a little bit easier. There we go. So now all I have to do, I can leave that there. I can heat up just the the metal thing just enough to where once it's heated up I can twist this back and forth and it'll it should pop it out. This one will concentrate the heat mostly right right in there. Is there a way I can adjust this one or no? Right there on the side where your thumb is, I think. No? Mm. Right, we'll just have to try it. You don't have any tape, I can maybe put some tape here. Go. Okay, so what, I, uh, what we just did is I put the heat right here and what it did was it heated up this washer uh, for the rivet and then it's got this glue right here. This glue, um, it just needs a little bit of uh, loosening. So I'm actually gonna show you how I kind of take off this one. Uh, let me see. If I can do both of these at the same time. Go too far. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm just heating this glue up so that it can pop off. And then we'll just dremel, we'll just dremel the rest of this off. We'll dremel that flat so that we put glue here, 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 and here, and it glues down. So when we're heating it up by pushing down right here, it actually made it do just a tiny bit of a bubble here. But um, once you put them on, I mean, we could maybe heat it up a little bit more and then try to push it back in, or we could just leave it the way it is. And that's once you sand it here and it'll lay flat, that's all you're really going to see. Compared to some people, this is all tore up when you take it off. So I'll show you what, you, what we did. Uh, let me put this away for a second. So again, I just basically put this in here. I just went in here as much as I can. So where I'm stopping is where it's hitting the glue. And then I just, I don't want to go too far in there. Because this glue is really strong. So I'm just going to come up here. Looks like, the, oh, there it goes. And I'm just basically getting it loose. So once we get to the point of that actually coming out, it's easier for us to pop it out. And this is almost a two-man procedure here. What I normally do is I'll have a heat gun. I'm sorry, not a heat gun. It'll be similar to this lighter, but it's one where you, when you push it, a little flame comes out, like a really um, uh, kind of makes a triangle and it comes to a point and I'll heat that up. So I'm not heating this up and it heats it up really fast and then I'll pry and it'll pop it right off. So I'm gonna try, if you can hold on with one hand, just here, I'm gonna use my left hand to heat it up. And then I'm going to twist it with my right. And uh, it shouldn't take too long. But I'm basically just trying to heat up that plastic. Or I'm sorry, the glue, the super glue. So that it'll let go. And then that little cap will come off. But you got to be really careful. You don't want to heat up or you don't want to poke this all the way through. I don't think there's, 
I don't really feel a rivet in there. I'm sure it's in there, but it's hard to feel. Okay. Ooh, that one went down. I think the rivet's over here more. All right, let me try this. So I made another hole here. Ooh, there we go. Kind of push it down. So I'm just going to pry it a little bit more. And then hopefully... I'm still holding on over here. Still, still got it right in here. That started to cool off already. So what I might end up having to do is a uh, still warm. So, it's right in here you can kind of see when I pulled it it's sticking right in here so I'm gonna try to get it right here and just heat it up enough so it's gonna mess with the hole a little bit but hopefully They really, when they did this, they did not mess around with this glue. It's hot. This glue is really in there. So I got it to go pretty far this way. Still not wanting to let go right in this area right in here. area so I'm gonna try to not burn through it because we don't want too many holes in this and I come through and kind of make this one close back up a little bit because this is where we're gonna use a rivet at see if I can just heat it up enough to get that glue to let go what you can always do is you can get another piece and put a, a piece right here, glue it on, and then make a new rivet hole. Gotta be very careful, this thing has an edge on it. If I go too far, I'll cut myself. I can see the rivet right there. See if I can come underneath it. Uh, I can get it up enough. Hold the end right here. So I'm going to heat the rivet back up again, and I'm going to put a screwdriver in there and see if I can pop the rivet off the glue.
shave it off. Now it's what's left of that glue right in here. Let's see if I can pop the rivet out the rest of the way. There goes the rivet. So that glue is you can look in here, you can see how bad that glue is. So basically right in this area that glue is. You got it? Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm gonna see if I can use the hammer and this and maybe see if I can kind of break it loose. That way. So hold it right here. Just a little bit right in here. Let's see. Right. So it's kind of tearing a little bit right there. See it right about here is where it's tearing. So again, once I pop it off, I grind all that stuff out. You can put a piece of plastic right here and then drill a hole where that one is at. And it'll kind of see if I can. Yep, it end up coming out. So normally this is what happens when you're done. It tears this whole area up. So with that glue, when they throw it in there, it just goes crazy. It doesn't stay in the center. Kind of like this one stayed more in the center. This one went more towards the edge, and that's what stuck. So again, this isn't bad. Once I uh, do a piece back here, then I can put it on. I can heat it up a little bit, push it back down. Once I sand this all down, it's going to end up covering it anyways. It'll be right about here when it covers it, so you won't ever see it. Now the hard one is going to be the middle one, because I didn't bring my, my little tool with me. It's like a, a body working dolly, so we're going to have to use this one. Because this one won't fit in there. So we just find a little spot. I got it in there. I'm gonna do the same thing, just heat this up. Hopefully. Would it be better to use like a wood block that doesn't heat up, like the metal one or no, because you have the plastic. See how it's got two two pieces of plastic, this plastic, the other plastic. It's not really heating up down there, it's mostly heating up in here. Okay. So I've never had it affect this, but because the rivet is so close to this and that glue's in there, that's why it poked out here. But we can always heat this up just a little bit with like a, um, maybe you can bring it on the other side with the torch once we um, sand that down and then we can kind of push it back in and maybe get rid of it. Kind of like how, you, I think it was this one, you see me when I pushed down and it made the line and it went back down. But we kept heating, so it poked back out. So this one's definitely going to be the hard one. Okay, there we go. See how it's... Alright, so that should be... So you can see it poked just a little bit there. So I'm hoping that glue is... I don't know what they use, but it is some strong glue. Oh, there we go. That side is no problem. So, always seems that way. One side is easy, the other side is not so easy. So, it looks like it might end up tearing. It looks like it might be grabbing all right here. So, I'm going to see how far I can. Yes, so I can try to maneuver this to where I can scoot this over maybe because you've seen how it was kind of moving a little bit 
maybe I can heat it up just a tiny bit that way, like that. Okay. It's all about trying to do the minimal amount of damage. Sometimes that glue is, ooh, it's nothing nice. There we go. Yep, it did end up still tearing it. There's a rivet. Oh. Oh, it's not gonna let me. It's gonna end up tearing that one little section there. So this section right here got tore. But again, we'll sand this down flat. We'll, we'll heat this up again if it's not still hot. There it goes. That one's out. So now we'll just sand all this down, um, and then all we got to do is just poke it out just a little bit once it's flat, and get rid of that little bump. But this is a lot better, where we're not none of this edge is tore up. I've done some where we're prying so hard that you get little pry marks where you're prying up. So these aren't too bad, other than the little dimples. That, that's the only part. And then this one actually came out very good. This one, um, we can fix it with a little piece behind it. And same thing with this one. And then we're going to have to anyways because the rivet we put in there, either that or we'll put a washer back here. But that's pretty much how I've been doing them now. When I run into these, is I'll use the heat and try to pry them out. That glue is, is something fierce though. So when it grabs a hold of that plastic, it does not want to let go. Alright, TK1636, thank you.